one thing about this experimental character controller is that everything is based on the rigid body and the physics. So whatever future character animation that I'm going to play, it's most likely that it's going to be affected by the physics. And I think Ragdoll is going to be quite useful here. So I've created a Ragdoll setup scene. Here it is. Okay. So I already have my Ragdoll, but I should probably show you how to set it up. You can download any character you want from Mixamo.com. Drag it into Unity. So this is nothing more than an imported character prefab. The first thing you want to do is click on, right click on the character prefab and go to the Unity Ragdoll Wizard. And you drag in all the parts, so hips, goes into pelvis, left up leg, left up leg goes into left hips. So that's like the knee, left leg, below that left foot. The same thing on the right side. Okay, this is the hip, the knee, the foot, and you do the same thing with the arms. We start with the left arm. So here is the left arm and the elbow. So the body part above the elbow, left arm, left forearm, and then we go to the right side, right arm, forearm, okay. Then the spine and the head. Okay, that's everything. Create. So all the colliders have been created. Looks like the head is a little too small for the character. So let's adjust it. Oops. Okay, that looks a little better. If I play. Okay, looks like the ragdoll is kind of working. One little trick that I saw online was taking the hip, turning kinematic temporarily, and you can use it, move it, turn it, and check whether the joints have been set up correctly. So right now it looks like the elbow is bending the other way. So we're looking at the right arm. You can click on this button and you can start adjusting how the joint should turn. You do have to spend some time on this. Every character is set up differently. And you also have to understand exactly which color is related to which variable. You might have to write down some numbers, go back and forth between the editor and the play mode, or even you might have to revert some of the stuff that you did. I'm not sure if there's a tool for this, but you either have to pay for it or you gotta put in the work. But once you do set it up, there's a little, another trick that you can use. I have attached this configurable joint to the hip and the connected body is the root. The root has a kinematic rigid body, which kind of works like a handle. The configurable joint has a lot more options than your typical character joint, so make sure you read the Unity documentation. Right now I'm still experimenting on how I'm gonna sync this up with my player controller, but one option that really interests me is the drive, XYZ drive. We also have the angular drive, which refers to the rotations. 
Drive is something that pushes the joint to the target position or the target rotation. So for example, if I look at the hip, you'll notice that the target position and velocity is zero here, which means the drive is gonna push the hip to the local position zero. So if I get rid of the position drive, for example, we just fall. But if I increase the numbers, you'll see the hip go right back to the zero position. And the same thing with angular drive. Okay. Now from here, depending on your game or your creative ideas, you can probably do a lot of cool stuff with this. I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna make the transition from this to an animation, for example, or how it's gonna interact with the physical player controller, but I think this whole thing is going to be a very fun experiment. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me on my Discord server. I also have all the files in the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.